We've all heard about social engineering in one way or the other. If you haven't actually heard that term, you can certainly think back to movies or videos that show con artists doing their thing. So how can you protect yourself from social engineering? Well, I'm glad you asked. We'll do a deep dive into social engineering and then talk about ways that you can protect yourself against it. Number one, train your end users. Social engineers are very sophisticated in their approaches these days. And what they like to do is create a, what I call a reality distortion effect. And it's easy for people, for you to fall victim to that. So training is probably the best way that you can help end users and help yourself get past that. Number two, instill a little bit of skepticism, not cynicism, but skepticism. Skepticism is kind of a healthy, should I do this? What's the situation? Kind of opening up a situational awareness kind of approach. Uh, cynicism is where people don't, you know, like don't want to do something or it's, it's a negative. But skepticism is a very healthy thing to have, especially when it comes to humans interfacing with technology. Number three, avoid haste. It is really easy in today's distracted kind of world to kind of make bad decisions because you're in a hurry. Take a more thoughtful approach to the technology that you're using and to the actions that you're taking. It's safer. Number four, verify the source of the request. Did that request come from a legitimate source? Could you check, for example, the actual email and the actual name? Is it really the person who's saying they're contacting you? It's very important to figure out that kind of source. Number five, avoid distractions. There are so many different ways in which you can become a distracted user. Uh, we always talk about driving distracted or distracted driving. Well, the same sort of thing happens when it comes to today's use of technology. How can you kind of build a bit of muscle memory to avoid uh, what it means to make bad decisions? Number six, spam filters. Technology is your friend. You can't rely on them, but they are vital to help you because human beings can't do everything. Number seven, become tech literate. Uh, we're kind of taught to be consumers of technology and it's kind of important to learn enough about the technology you're using to be a responsible user. This allows you to understand when tech is being used against you. So as you become more tech literate, you'll find that it's easier to see through some of the kind of moves that social engineers are going to try to put on you. Number eight, I think the big thing is to think in terms of out of band communication. And that's a fancy phrase for saying if somebody communicated with you with one band, like via email, maybe it's a good idea to pick up a phone or do some texting or whatever and ask that person, did you just send me that information? You don't use the same band or the same email stream to do that communication. It's one way that you can kind of thwart a lot of really good social engineering. Number nine, remember who contacted you first. It's really important because the best social engineers are the ones who are gonna reach out to you first, but they're gonna make you forget that they're the ones that contacted you first. So if you can figure out some sort of way to break through uh, the kind of reality distortion effect that social engineers are putting on top of you, if you can make sure that you understand that the attacker contacts you first, then you will most likely not fall victim to a social engineering attack. Number 10, the don't click rule. Yeah, seems obvious, but it is less obvious uh, than you'd think. Number 11, have a good response plan. And this is so important for IT managers, but also for end users to know if something feels wrong, what next steps do they do? And how is their policy gonna help you take those next steps? Number 12, read carefully. It's really important, even though we're kind of in this distracted kind of world that we live in, it's really important to understand the information that's coming to you. And if you can take a little bit more time to read carefully some of these requests coming to you, you can solve a lot of problems or even avoid a lot of problems. Protecting yourself from social engineering attacks isn't particularly complicated. It does require, though, some thoughtful consideration with a dose of healthy skepticism. Keep your eyes open and your mind clear. Check out our other videos to learn more about social engineering attacks.